everybody welcome back to my channel today it is channel number day five and today is our last day in Cheltenham I can't believe I've actually vlogged all five days but you know but why not I might as well get some content for you guys it's a little bit colder today hence why I'm wearing a different outfit I'm wearing a new bodysuit from Primark it's like a brownie one it's got the shoulder things on there it's really comfortable and I think it's like five pounds and then I have my jeans on as well and I also did my hair and makeup again today because I felt disgusting yesterday with no makeup on so that's why I put some on today plus I think we might be going to Oxford today so you know I just wanted to you know, put a bit of my makeup on and do my hair and stuff yeah because I felt like it but yeah so but to be honest I probably will have to pack later on I don't have a lot to pack but it's just more like bits like makeup and hair curlers and my laptop and stuff but yes and I'm also going to take my handbag with me as well I think I've got my card and stuff in there but I'm going to put a bit of a plumping lip gloss on because I've only put these two on at the moment and my lip liner and then my liquid lipstick so this is going on top because these glosses are some of the best super glory one sexy motherfucker in bare enough honestly a beautiful color it makes your lips so plumping so i'm gonna put this on and i will show you the results because it's beautiful so let's stay yes it will ready it's gonna be plumping really plumping I'll do kind of overline my lips a little bit and when I put a lip liner on but it's because my top lip is smaller than my bottom lip so I kind of equal them out a bit ready now I've got a glossy lip so nice I'm chuffed now but yeah I'm gonna put this in my bag as I'm taking it with me because it's one of my favourite glosses. I'll probably bring a jacket with me as well because I think it's with the rain out, so that's not fun. That is really not fun. And I've got like it's solid bar and stuff that I need to pack really. So yes. Going in the car to Oxford obviously because we're in Cheltenham and I think Oxford is a little bit of a drive away. I'm not sure how far it is but it's I also couldn't tell you the traffic is a lot worse down south, if you've noticed as well, because um, obviously more people live down here. It's just a busy place to live, like, all around, so, yeah. It, it can take a while to get to places. I'm also going to put my perfume on as well. It's going to be Paris again, because it's the only perfume I've brought with me. It, it smells beautiful. If you've never tried it, you, you need to smell it, because it smells beautiful. There we go. Well, as fresh as it is, honestly, guys. And I still do have a few sweets left over as well. I'm trying hard to not resist to eat them. Does that make sense? I think so. <laughs> I might as well bring my shirt with me because you never know when you might need your sunglasses. It could turn out really sunny, so who knows? But I can't put them, I can't really put them in here. Oh my god, why am I like that? I can't really put them in this bag because firstly they'll probably scratch, they won't fit and they'll break so I might just have to put them like on here but I'm not quite sure I'll have it as like a hair accessory wait oh that's a kind of cute vibe you know I'm kind of vibing with that look I think it's kind of a cute look guys I'm going to put my hair bubble with me just in case I need it because you never know and it, these are really fun for receipts I might keep them with me, I don't know yeah I'll leave them here for now but yes, I'm I'm really feeling my outfit and my hair and makeup today, which I'm happy about because it's the last day. I just want to feel nice on the last day. You know, I am going to be dreading packing everything up because I don't know if it'll even fit in my hole at all. Because to be honest, I'm bringing more back with me than what I came with. So, and it could hardly close before. So that's going to be a brilliant to do later on. But, oh well. This is what it is, isn't it? I think we're going out in like 10 minutes, so I'll put my shoes on, get my jacket on, 
and then I'll hop straight in the car and then we'll be on our way so yeah and also uh, my sister has uh, one of my crop tops on as well and I think you actually suit it better than what I do I think because mm -hmm. it's more tanned compared to me as well because I'm just white I've got to fake my tan but it's she doesn't so yeah I'm jealous it's a good few hours later now and I've not vlogged because it was raining like quite bad and I don't really want to be vlogging when it's raining because I do have like a crack in my phone and if any water gets in that then my phone will just completely die so I've not really vlogged and I probably should have vlogged during the day but because it was raining and dull and stuff I just thought well I can't be bothered to be honest but we did go to Stroud this morning for like an hour and a bit but it wasn't really much to do there and then after that you went to the Trugsbury or something or ch or something like that anyway and then we had a meal at this pub I had fish and chips and it was very nice um, and then you had like a look around a few shops and another look around the chapel and stuff and it was very nice and we also witnessed the wedding happening as well which is quite cute but yes and I've also bought a few camping bits from Poundland for me and Scott because we are going camping the weekend after this one so I've kind of just had to buy a few bits of I still need to buy camping chairs so I will have to get those. I will show you what I bought in a minute but my mum has kind of made me a hot chocolate because there's some hot chocolate sachets at this holiday home so she made me one bless her so I'm gonna enjoy this. We've also been packing our stuff because we are going tomorrow this is our last full day. I think we have to be out of the holiday home by 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow so that's why we're all getting packed up now and stuff so it, it, it took it a bit of a mess but yeah, what do you expect but uh, I'm just enjoying my hot chocolate it's the same colour as my top but yeah it's very nice yeah the only things I've really got to pack now is that my makeup remover glasses case and my laptop and that's it to be honest and these clothes which will be going like in a dirty pile in my hold all but the bottom bring him home is my hold all this H&M bag with stuff I've bought in it in my speedy leave it on speedy bag in my Gucci bag which is over here that's fun and in my laptop bag so I do have a lot to put in with me but you know this is a choice of going on holiday and buying stuff and then bringing home a load of stuff you know but it's fine but I'm going to show you what I got for camping because it'd be interesting for you guys to see I'm very sorry that I haven't vlogged. You guys will know that I, I did curl my hair, but now it's gone wavy because of the rain. But my mum kindly let me use her one of her waterproof jackets because she's bring two. So that was very kind of her. But I'm going to show you what I've got. Still watching the Olympics because it's still on. But I'm going to show you what I've got from Palmland because you actually have there's some really good camping bits in there at the moment. And and I've realised they sold all this stuff firstly. I've got a 5-in-1 camping tool, so it's got like a knife on it, a cork bottle opener, a can like a t like a, a a bottle opener and I think like another knife on it, so that's very handy. And that was a pound. Um, very handy for camping, especially. I then got two sets of cutlery, like camping cutlery, because you can attach them all together and keep them all together type of thing. And these were a pound each, I thought. It needs to be handy because we probably forget to bring them anyway, so I've got them. I then got four reusable plates for a pound. Because it's always handy to have the reusable plates and all I have to do is clean them. And it's also good for putting like the bits of food in them. If we're cooking, we need to keep them aside. I've got them. And then I also got some barbecue tongs for a pound. But these are actually really good quality as well, so I got those because Scott doesn't actually have any anymore. So I got them. And then from the boots, I did get a Garnier aloe vera toner and a facial a gel wash because the, these were reduced like 170 each. So I got those from the boots because they were reduced and I was actually in need of a toner anyway. So I've got them. But that's all I bought today. You know, I'm just preparing for camping now next week. But yeah, that's all I got. I feel so bad. Like, I just... I wish I vlogged more today, but I mean, what can I do now? I am 
upstairs again now. I am chilling. I really want to take my makeup off and my eyelashes are hanging off. Okay, well, I'm guessing it's time. Yeah, well, that's pretty easy. It was hanging off already. Honestly, the best thing in the world taking your eyelashes off. I've I've also been having a look at vlogging cameras because if this girl is going to finally step up in YouTube. I may be thinking now on my birthday time. I could treat myself to a vlogging camera. I've been having a look at Canon ones, Sony ones, but Sony ones are so much more expensive compared to Canon vlogging cameras. But a lot of people say that Sony vlogging cameras are better quality and better built. So I don't really know what to do. So if anybody has any recommendations of what mini vlogging cameras are good, like what kind of like style and brand and everything, like yeah, that because to be honest i'm not really like a camera geek so i couldn't tell you like all the specs and stuff all i want is uh, pretty much like an affordable reliable good quality vlogging camera that has like a like a, a flip if you find her on yeah, that'd be very helpful but yeah I've, I've been having a look but yes but uh, now that i find some of my eyes off i'm probably gonna uh, take my makeup off as well because i don't even we'll be getting any makeup on this white kind of bedding that would not it look good, you know? But I can't believe it's our last day today. Like, it's gone fast, but it's also gone slow. But tomorrow, yeah, when we go home, I'll have to be going to sleep at like around nine because I've got the work the next morning, so that's going to be fun. It's straight into work after it's been on holiday kind of thing. But, you know... And then I'm very excited to go camping. As I keep on mentioning, I'm going camping with Scott. Very, very, very excited. And we need to get some final bits. And I'll definitely try and vlog camping as well. Because that would be a good thing to vlog. Because it'll be our second time camping. And I think people are prepared this time as well. Because at least we've got more bits. And we'll, and we'll know what to expect. But the place where we're going is so beautiful. It's like in Scotland. And like, it's more like a community kind of camping place and it's got a lovely view so i'm very excited if you want to see the camping vlogs make sure to leave a thumbs up that would be very much appreciated anyway i'm going to use my trusty garnier let's take my makeup off also this hairbrush from this hairbrush is from home bargains absolute bargain for a start i think it's like 150 or something or maybe two pounds not quite sure honestly if you I do get quite tight hair. This, it brushes it out straight away. No pain. And it's also made of recycled... It was it re recycled plastic or something? Or materials. So good for the environment as well. But yeah, it's amazing. It's actually one of the best hairbrushes I have now. So I recommend if you want a good hairbrush. <laughs> you know? But, yes. Time to take this off. I'm going to use my cotton pads. I'm going to take my ring off as well. How beautiful is this ring though? Swarovski from Scotty. Also, the other kind of job I'm using at the moment is the Mario Badescu one. It's so good if you have spotty skin. It's acne facial cleanser. I highly recommend because I do have the worst oily skin. And I'm also very excited to come home to exfoliate all the excess tan off because my neck is so patchy and in my arms are really patchy so i'm i'm gonna be very pleased to get that off because it just it looks i look like a bit of tiger bread <laughs> oh, the joys the joys so it's a bit later again i've we had our tea we had pizza and the garlic bread and veg and stuff but it is it's 20 past 8, I think, or is it 20 past 9? I'm going to bed very soon because we're getting up at 8 and we have to be out of the holiday home by 10. So, and you've got to get like all our belongings into the car and be setting off for a long journey. But if you guys have enjoyed these channel vlogs, make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below. And if you would like to see the camping vlogs, let me know because I'll happily film them for you guys and yeah, I'll see you all in